Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone. Welcome back to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is part of ITSM implementation mock training. Out of the box, ServiceNow does not give lot of mandatory fields. However, mandatory fields are very much needed to perform better analysis of data and reporting. In this video, we will configure mandatory fields on incident form. And we will start with making fields mandatory in all the condition on incident form. And those fields are caller, category, subcategory, configuration item, assignment group, short description, and if you want, you can also make mandatory some other fields as well, like maybe description. The next task would be making fields mandatory only on only when state of incident is not new or cancelled. And that field is assigned to. So assigned to should be mandatory if state is not new or cancelled. That means in other states, assigned to should always be mandatory. That's the requirement you have. So it is just a mock. We want to show you that how exactly you can make fields mandatory on the basis of some conditions, or even you can say uh, sometime you need to make the fields mandatory forever. That means in all the conditions. So we will cover both type of conditions. One is for all the conditions and one is for a specific states or on the basis of some other fields. So let's go to the instance and configure these fields and make them mandatory. You can make the fields mandatory in ServiceNow via various ways. You can do it with the help of field dictionary. You can make the fields mandatory with the help of UI policy. You can make the fields mandatory with the help of client script. Now in this case, we will use field dictionary. But in case of field dictionary, it's really important to know one thing. That if you have a field which is inherited from base table, that means because incident is inherited from task, which is the base table of service now. So if that field is available and it basically it is inherited from that base table and you are going to make the dictionary changes for that field, in that case, it will impact all other tables which are inherited from task table. So for that, service now gives you really great option. And that's a great feature we have in service now. And that's called dictionary override, which will basically help you to just make same field mandatory on that particular table where you actually want to make field mandatory and it will not impact any other tables. Even that field is inherited from base table. And if you make the changes with the help of dictionary override, you will not impact other tables like change problem and that change that particular uh, change will only visible to on on basically incident form not any other form now how exactly we do that so let's make it so we have to make these fields mandatory like caller category subcategory configuration item assignment group and short description and even the description now caller does not come from task. So we will also see that if what fields are coming directly from task and what fields are directly on incident. So we will start with caller. Caller is already mandatory. So let's see first whether it is being dragged from task table or not. So I will just click on configure dictionary. So in order to change the dictionary of a field, you have to select basically right click on the field name and then you will go to the configure dictionary and you will see the dictionary of that particular field. So here we have, so you can see it is directly created in the incident table. So we can just go back and it is already mandatory. So next field we have is category because we have to make category and subcategory as mandatory. So let's see, do we need to make changes in dictionary override or we just we can just make these changes directly um, in the field dictionary. So if I right click here and if I click on configure dictionary, let's see. 
So idly, because category and subcategory, they are being they are not dragged from task table. They are basically created directly in incident table. So you can see we have incident table here. So how you will make it mandatory? So we will just maybe I will just directly select this checkbox. So if you have to make a field mandatory at dictionary level, so you can just select this checkbox. As I said, there are other ways as well. But if you want to keep it uh, basically same for all type of records, then you can directly do it from dictionary and you can make it mandatory. And it is it will it will also not impact any other table because it is this field is directly on incident. So what I can do, I can just quickly save this. In this case, category will become mandatory. So if I go here again, so now you can see category has become mandatory. I will go to subcategory now. This is also directly created on incident table. So in that case, you can just check this box again. So if I check this box and I click on save. So this will make this field mandatory as well at dictionary level. So if I click on create new, so you can see, I think subcategory is not let me check there could be some reason i don't know what exactly i okay maybe it did not get saved so i can just click here and i can just save it so you now if i click on this create new you will see that subcategory will also be mandatory and yes this is also mandatory next is configuration item now here we will see dictionary override because configuration item field is inherited from task table, which is the base table. So if I click on this, you can see it is showing task here. If I will check this checkbox mandatory, it will make this field mandatory on all the extended tables, including change problem everywhere, whatever tables, uh, tables are being extended from task table, they will have configuration item field as mandatory. But we do not want that because we just want to make sure this change is only applicable to incident table. That's it, not any other table. So for that, we will use dictionary override. And for that, I will go a little bit bottom here. We already have one, one record created for incident table for dictionary override. So I will just open the same record. So I will, I will open this one. So it's open. And now here we have override mandatory. I will check this checkbox. I will make it mandatory. I have to check this checkbox again. And then I can just click on save. It's saved. So now if I click on create new you will see that that this become has become mandatory but how will you make sure that this is not impacting any other table so for that what you can do you can go to problem and we will see if this field is mandatory or not on problem so not really you can see here so configuration item is not mandatory on problem it is just mandatory on incident form. That means that validates our change. So whatever change we did, validation is done because it is only mandatory on incident form, not any other form. So validation is done. So next field is assignment group. So I will go to assignment group. Now story with assignment group is also same. So configure, if I click on configure dictionary, you will see that assignment group will be available on task table and I will not check this checkbox. What I will do, I will go to incident again. I will open this record and I will make it mandatory from here and I will click on save and then I will click on create new. You will see, yes, it is also mandatory. And if you want to make description, description is also inherited from task, but let's leave it for now. So because I just want to show you that how exactly you can make the fields mandatory uh, in all the condition from dictionary level. And that is also with the help of dictionary override. And if you want to do it directly and but you have to make sure that you're not impacting other fields or other tables, um, which are basically extended from the base table. So as of now, we are done with the making fields mandatory in all the condition. Now we have to make another field mandatory, which is assigned to field. 
but there is a condition with it that this should be mandatory if state is not new or cancelled if there is any other state like in progress then assigned to field should be mandatory but you can see as of now it is not mandatory so how we will achieve this particular requirement for that we can use maybe a client script or ui policy ideally ui policy is the best way because ui policy is basically configurable you don't have to write any script so in that case we will use ui policy to make this field mandatory so what i will do i will right click here and i will click on this ui policies i will click on leave and here i will create a new ui policy so once i will click on that it will open up the new form for ui policy where we can create the new ui policy so it's there now it's taking a little bit more time to load so yes it's done now i can just give it a name so maybe i will provide a uh, mock dot set assigned to mandatory so this is the name i have given here i have to check the condition and the condition would be if a state a state is not is not one off new or cancelled so if a state is not new or cancelled if i click here both are selected you can see both are selected so if a state is not one off new that means if a state is not new or cancelled then it should be mandatory so i can just click on save and that's that's the reason ui policy is really good because you don't have to write any script you can still write the script in ui policy depend on the use case but overall you can definitely achieve lot of things without a script so now what i will do i will go to ui policy action so we have just created the ui policy now i will create ui policy action to make that field mandatory so i will click here and then i will select that field and if i will select that field where is that field assigned to so we have assigned to right here it's selected and here in mandatory i will make it true now important point here is that ui pol policies are basically used to make fields mandatory visible or read only that's the main purpose of a ui policy so if you have to make fields mandatory visible or read only then you will always use always uh, use ui policy so now what i will do i will just click on submit so that our ui policy and ui policy action will be created properly but you have to remember one thing once you create the ui policy action you have to note that is there any you have to check basically that is there any red dot just beside that field name and you can see we have one what is the reason behind it the reason is i am 100% sure that there should be one another ui policy where we are using the ui policy action on the same field that's the reason you get this kind of alert now how you can remove this there is a better way to find it you can basically change the order of this particular ui policy if you will change the order it will automatically be fixed because if you will have same order so i can show you that what exactly uh, order we have so maybe let me go to the create new and uh, let's check this first whether it is happening or not if i go to in progress okay it is making it it is it is making this field as mandatory but we don't want that uh, uh, extra icon which was available over there for that what i can do i can go to ui policies and i will just change the order so here we have uh, this one well, let me check yep this is the one we just created you can see we have a lot of ui policy with the same order 100 so what i will do i will make it let's say um, 300 i will make it different so it's 300 now and i'm sure this time you will see that you will you will not get that particular red dot beside that field 
So if I reload this UI policy, absolutely, you can see this got removed. Now, if I click on create new again and see if I change this, let's say if I select in progress, absolutely, you can see now assign to is mandatory. That is also on the basis of some condition where state is not in progress or canceled, then assignment uh, assign to field should be mandatory else not so if you have it is matching the condition it will work as expected as per the con configuration you have mentioned in your ui policy so now you are done with making fields mandatory for both type of situation that means for all the conditions that means every time that field has to be mandatory and even on the basis of some conditions where you have put in some uh, logics and uh, conditions that on the basis of those conditions your fields should be mandatory thanks for watching this video please like share and comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you and have a great day